Hello everyone, my dear friends, how to face your problems with peaceful solutions. International students sometimes are subject to be mistreated by locals. I'm not, a, I'm not addressing the Americans to be the boy who mistreats the internationals, but I'm taking the idea of some locals mistreat some guests. Whether it's an American in my country, where I am here, as well as the other nationalities. Today I'm going to address the mistreat problems international students suffer and my point of view on how to avoid them if you, if you one day wanted to study abroad. I have always been nice to people. As they say, all people deal with battles that they know, they know nothing about. Therefore, we should always be nice, be kind to people. However, what if you are the one who's being mistreated? Will you stand up for yourself? Or just continue to understand them? How can you say that enough is enough? Bullying is a first-hand experience for international students. A couple years ago, I was in London enjoying my summer vacation and taking an English program to improve my language. As an international student, I used to constantly hear people laugh at the way I speak. They're shaming my accent instead of making me comfortable at the place that I considered as my second home. However, the day came and I realized that there is nothing I could do about the way they think about it. So I asked a friend of mine, who was his guest in London, who used to study, who used to study in the Middle East, so he has an experience with being an international student. He said, I could just, I would just change the way, I, I, uh, the way how I take people's criticisms and bully. And you know what? It actually worked. My friend taught me a very valuable lesson that I do not owe anyone anything. I do not owe people an explanation with the way I look. I dress in the manner that I'm most comfortable at. I choose my perfume as I, I would, how I would want my smell like. I do not usually exercise, so I do not care if I look fat or thin to some people. I do not care if I look messy at times, because that is that's me, and that is how I walk. I do not owe people an explanation with the choices of my food. I eat whatever I want, depending on my craving. As long as they're not paying for it, it is none of their business. I do not owe people an explanation regarding my views on things, like politics or religion. I respect differences. And with that principle, I would, uh, I would that principle, I am hopeful that others would do the same. I do not owe people an explanation regarding my, regarding my relationships, uh, relationship choices. I would be with whomever I love and I want to be with. I do not owe people an explanation on how I choose my friends. I'll be with the people I trust most and, com and being comfortable with. I do not owe people an explanation about the course I take or the career path I pursue. Because that is my dream. And aside from my family and the people who truly support me, I only have myself to fulfill it. To continually motivate myself to be someone that people thought I would not be someday. The bottom line is, I do not owe anyone my happiness. I am blessed with the life which was given to me to handle and control. Therefore, whatever people have to say about you, and note, they would always do. Regardless of how good you are, do not mind them. You can take criticisms and verbal bullying <coughs> just like you were eating a fish. Eat the meat and spit out the fish bone. Meaning, you only take what you can consume and what you, and what you think is beneficial for you. For your, uh, for beneficial for your growth, 
development and improvement of your skills. And dismiss the negativity and the discouraging thoughts. You and I, we are what we are made to be. However, it is our responsibility to make a way for what we will become. Thank you. Question? Questions? Have you been mistreated here, like at SEMO? Thank you for the question. I have not been mistreated here in SEMO. I used to be mistreated when I was in London a couple of years ago. So when I when I talk my friend advice and I just do not obey my explanation from my life, from the things I do, I never talk about it. It happened, but I do not care about it. Thank you. Lee, how, how do you help yourself live by those principles, Ahmed? How do you, uh, you know, people saying different things around you, and how do you stay true to what's important to you? Thank you for the question. Whenever you believe in yourself, and you know yourself as well as they don't, so you just can live your life and do not care about what people say because people are not your health and your health. Your work, your what you do is what will make your life better. Any more questions? Okay. All right, well, let's do a little feedback. Amen. Okay.